anybody in yet there's one person just gonna wait hi how you doing happy sunday hope all is well Ooh, i need to go wash this hair we are due just gonna wait for a couple of more people to come on in Before we get started, where are you from? I like your accent. <laughs> I'm from North Carolina. Da, da, da. I live in the South. Brushes, all my things. I've been, well, I'll keep it G with y'all. I haven't been wearing makeup like that, but all my main things have just been in my makeup bag because I've been traveling so much for work. So just going through, trying to fall, find all my little things. Let's see, got that, we got that. I need some under, we'll do this. Concealer. We're going to be testing out some new products. Some of them you guys have already seen me use before. Will you be trying the new Hourglass Foundation? I went to Sephora today and they didn't have it. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm on the fence with it. I am not opposed to it though. I definitely do have it on the list. It is on the list, fam. In fact, I don't even know, like I said, my Sephora didn't have it. However, I don't even know if it's available in stores yet. Let's take a look real quick and see. I'm going to wait a couple more minutes and let a few more people come in because I did put up a post in the community tab asking what you guys wanted me to review. Yeah, it's online only. Okay, so that's why it was not available in my Sephora. As soon as it is available in my Sephora, I'll check it out and see. Um, bah, 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 bah. I really don't know much about it. Okay, so it's a medium natural finish. Okay, we shall see, fam, we shall see. And of course, all of a sudden it started raining out of nowhere. The new Danessa Myricks palette. Yes, I ordered that. That, as soon as I saw it pop up, I knew I wanted it just simply because that is legit perfect for the type of work that I do. So that one is definitely happening. And of course, we'll do like a full on review on that as well. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I don't want to hold y'all up all night long. Okay, so we got a couple of new things we're going to be dabbling in. So y'all know, whenever I get new makeups, I like to test it out for a couple of days first before giving you a review. So some of these are gonna be a first impression, if you will, and then I'll test them out this week, and then I'll probably do a video on them next week. And also something that we're gonna be doing is for the month of August, it's gonna be dedicated to you guys. So the content for next month is gonna be subscriber requests. So this is gonna be a new series that I do on my channel. So like I said earlier, I post it in the community tab asking what you guys want me to review. So whatever y'all want, whatever your requests are, I am going to be reviewing it for you next month, all right? So if there's anything you wanna see, anything you're curious about, just let me know. You can put it in the community tab. You can put it in the bottom of the comments of this video. You can DM me, whatever the case may be, whatever is easier. So the first thing I'm gonna get into is this Lancome. This is their new foundation. It's the Tint Idol Ultra Wear Care and Glow. Now, I saw this, and I didn't think anything of it, okay? I am someone, let me see, wait a second. That one is, okay. One of my favorite Lancome products is this concealer here. So this is the all over concealer. I have tried the 
I always get Estee Lauder and Lancome confused for some reason. I don't know, does anyone else do that as well? But I have tried the Lancome Tink Idol, the original one. It was high. Like, it wasn't groundbreaking to me, but it wasn't like disappointing either. It was just kind of like meh, right in the middle. It wasn't something that I, you know, use on a regular. However, the concealer is fantastic. So when I saw this one, of course, with me having oily, acne prone skin, oily skin all year long, I was kind of like, mm, ah, uh, I don't know. However, recently, I have just gotten to the point where I am done trying to fight my oil. Hey, hey, how's it going? And I'm done trying to fight my oil. Like I have come to terms with the fact that I am just a naturally glowy girl. So instead of working against it, we gonna work with it. So we're gonna see what this does. I'm in the shade 455W. Of course, Lancome always gives us plenty of shades to choose from. Hang on, let me get a mirror really, really quickly. put this where I can see my face but let's see can y'all still see me okay my mirror is right above y'all so if you see me looking up that is why so I got the shade 455 let's pull up the specs really quick on this on Sephora as well so we can see exactly what they talking about and what these claims are saying Alrighty, so medium natural, which hi Jamila, happy Sunday. Medium natural finish, SPF 30, hyaluronic acid, hydrates, invisibly plumps to skin. Let's see. Mandelic acid smooths and refines the skin. I've never heard of that acid before, so that is new to me. So hydrating doesn't mean dewy. Although it says care and glow, we're just going to see. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Packaging, beautiful. Glass, white top, bomb. It is very, very hot though. So, let's see. We'll give it two pumps. I am going to blot my face really quickly though. I don't have any makeup on. My brows are filled in. In fact, let's just wipe that off. So that way, okay. So now we really bare, we're bare facing it. I'm just blotting to get some of the oil off. All right, work. Foundation brush, boom, there she go. I haven't worn foundation in weeks. All right, so let's see, as you can see, I've got some dark spots going on over here. So let's see. All right, with the shade, it looks a little neutral, but that's okay. To the eye, it's pulling neutral, but on camera, keep in mind, I've got ring light right in front of me as well. So it is pulling a little warmer than what it actually looks to the eye. So we're just gonna stipple this on. Okay, blend right on into the skin. It does have a scent. It smells a little perfumey. So if you're someone who's sensitive to scent, you might not be into that, but easy to blend. Definitely medium coverage. Let's see if we can. And the reason why I am pushing it into my skin, especially focusing in this area too, the stippling motion is so that way I can get the most coverage there. And I feel like it did a fairly good job coloring the dark spots that I have right there. I'm not mad at that. And it looks really, really nice on the skin. Hmm, I'm not mad. What are y'all's thoughts so far? So far, what you thinking? How you feeling? Not bad. Okay, so that was just two pumps. So <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit more to get over all over the entire face. Ooh, that smell though. I'm not. I'm not someone that is sensitive to scents, but. I definitely notice it's not strong like how Huda Beauty foundations used to smell. It's not strong like that, but there's definitely, when you put it on, you'll smell it. Can you do a simple makeup look when wearing, when wearing white? Yeah, I can do that. Absolutely. 
Now I have a question with that. So I'm not into scent, scented products, I know. So when wearing white, um, are you just not sure like as far as like what colors to wear or is it a situation where you feel like makeup is transferring on your clothing when you're wearing white? I just need a little bit more context. This looks really pretty on the skin. Huh. I think this would be perfect for my mom as well because my mom has been asking me about makeup recently and I think this would be really good for her. All right, so I'm gonna go with another pump. This random rain. Yes, I think it's very pretty. And also, and I don't find it to be pulling super glowy either. I think it just looks very natural. Now, of course, when we do our wear test with this baby, we going outside. We outside with this one because it is hot, humid, in the South right now. So, however you guys, I will say first impressions, I am pleasantly surprised. Not bad, not bad at all. You can build it, well, you can build it. It's not gonna give you anything crazy. This shade is looking gnarly. Let me see. Okay, so that gives you, turn my lighting down a little bit. This is gonna give you a better representation of what it looks like. Then of course, once I set it to, not bad. I'm not mad at this at all, okay. Oh. Okay, so I was just for the sake of testing new products video gonna use my black opal concealer because that's one of the newer concealers that I have but I'll let y'all pick do you want me to just for the sake of the video keep it with Lancome or use the black opal concealer whatever y'all decide is what I'm gonna do turn this lighting back up so I can see. I tried to look on yesterday and I think it was okay. And yes, what colors are the best for wearing white? Okay, cool. So the, the thing is with white, white's gonna be considered a neutral. So you can wear whatever color you want. Very, very easy. Don't overcomplicate it. But I can definitely do a look for that. I will put that on the list for the subscriber request series next month. No problem at all. Okay, I'm just trying to use up. I don't need any more, but I just don't, don't want to waste my products. So, let's see. Did you guys say which concealer you wanted? Try the one. Thank you. Is the concealer worth it? I love the Lancome concealer. Yes, this is. Mm -hmm. I think it's fantastic. All right, so. We are rolling with the Lancome Concealer instead of the Black Opal. And I am in the shade, where's the shade name? Oh, right here, 500 with this. Hopefully it's not, mm, because I do use this one under my eyes and to spot conceal. So let's just see, it might, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit too warm, yeah. Sorry guys, we're gonna have to use the, well, let me just blend it out real quick. Hold please. Let's just, let's just see. Yeah, okay, so this, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, this is definitely just a little bit warmer. Cause like I said, I bought this specific shade with the mind of using under my eyes and spot concealing. So when you're spot concealing on your face, you don't want to use a concealer that's too bright because it's going to highlight that area. So what I am going to do then is I am just going to switch over to the black opal because that is not giving what it's supposed to give. Hang tight. I just need something a little bit brighter. And now the sun is out. Okay. Yeah, that just, just the shade is better for a 
foundation look. When I wear the Lancome concealer, I don't ever wear it with concealer. And then my shade for the Black Opal is Caramella. You guys, if you saw the Black Opal video, then you already know this concealer. So pretty. So I have been enjoying just using my finger to kind of blend it out. This is also going to give you the most coverage. I put on way too much. Don't do what I just did. That was too much. <laughs> so I like to blend it out with my finger first because your finger is warm. So it's going to help with blending and your finger is not going to soak up any product whatsoever. So I will just blend it out with my finger. I will put a little down the center. And I like to let it sit for just a moment to kind of set and get more coverage. So I'll go ahead and blend this out because I don't want that to sit too long. started using my finger to blend my concealer and it looks more I agree it just looks there's something about it it looks so natural and it's interesting that it looks more natural because you also get more coverage that way as well so little hack and so now what I will do with the sponge now I'll just go around the outsides just to blend that line down and boom, so now we still maintain our coverage because we want, you know, I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna need that coverage up in this area here. We need that full, always. <laughs> That's a non-negotiable for me. Then I'm just gonna carry it out just a little bit. And also I have found that this helps with um, creasing, whenever I do this and then my new setting technique that I'm about to show you guys, whenever I do it like this, I don't get any creasing. Because you guys will see the video, if not this week, next week, um, I'm sharing like my go-to makeup products and I've went back to using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And the reason why I had stopped using it was because I felt like it was just creasing a lot on me. But the way that I've been setting it, yeah. And the only reason why I started doing it on myself is because that's how I do it on my client. So it just kind of clicked on me. It's like, why not just do the same thing with, you know, myself? Let's see. Start using my finger. Yes, yes, yes. So you don't blend the top part of your under eye. Yeah. I did blend it. I just used my finger to blend it. I just pushed it all up in there. Bare Minerals. I'm oily and it works great for me. It's so easy in the mint. So my issue with Bare Minerals, I have used their matte version. Their shades. It always pulls orange on me. I've tried quite a few times, but it just, it pulls too orange on my skin tone. It's the best to use a setting powder that matches your skin tone or a banana one. It's just going to depend on what type of look you're going for. So if you want something, if you want your under eye to be a little bit more bright, then yeah, use something that's like a banana tone. Um, if you don't want it to be too bright, then you can use something that's more closer to your skin tone. Or let's say you're using the concealer and the concealer is too bright. You can use your skin tone powder, setting powder to kind of tone it down a little bit. Sorry, I saw after I typed that. Oh, no worries, that's okay. I know sometimes there's a lag. All good, all good. Okay, so now, oops. Have you tried Jane Iredell? I have not, I have not tried that one. I can put it on the list though. Okay. So now that that is in place, we're gonna try. It's great in the summer or more hot areas because it does pull red orange, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So, 
Of course, when I do, so I'm gonna do separate reviews on all of these. Right now, we're just testing and seeing, but I am going to do, of course, a side-by-side -side comparison. I know I am not the first beauty girl on YouTube to do it, but I'm just gonna do it for my own, you know, research purposes. But this is supposed to be blurring, and I got the honey one because that's just what I prefer to set under my eyes and face with. The only time I will use translucent deep is on a day when I don't have on any foundation, then I'll use that. Translucent deep is great as well, but I have noticed that if I try to set my whole face with translucent deep, sometimes just depending on this foundation, it can kind of alter the shade a little bit and make it a little bit off. So that's why I don't do that. That's why I stopped using Bare Minerals. Yeah, it's just, it, it pulls crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so now we're gonna set this. I need to go ahead and set up under my eyes first. So let's see if this is blurring. I got the shade Honey. This is the shade that I prefer to use on myself. And then, so I have been using powder puffs to set up under the eyes. Again, this is nothing new. Plenty of people have been doing this. Um, I've been doing this on my clients and their makeup just looks flawless. My only hang up with pressed powder, with loose powder, they're so messy. I don't, I have them, but I switched over to pressed powder for my kit because I just hate the mess. But I'll make sure to leave the sponges down in the description box after the live. And if you go back and it's not there, leave a comment, say, hey girl, add the puff or whatever other links might be missing. So I'm just going to go ahead and just look up and press this in. Ooh, okay. So I am live using my iPad just because the connection is better. But when I use my camera to do the review, yeah, oh wow, that is blurred. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I thought Laura was trying to trick us for our Gucci and was pulling like a whole marketing tactic with us as far as this whole blurring one. However, yeah. That does, that, that looks smooth, okay. That does look smooth. Oh yeah, for your under eyes only. Um, Personally, and this is just me, I use honey under eyes and I set my whole face too. That's just me though. Again, it's preference. There's no right or wrong. Ooh, I just got way too much. Dang it. Patrick Starr and Givenchy have really good puffs. I can't lie. I have never tried either one of those. I can tell you this. I will not be using Givenchy puffs on my clients. I love my clients, but no. <laughs> we got to stick with the Amazon puffs because running a business, profit margins are everything. But on myself, I could probably get with it. Wow, this is, huh. I love it when I have thought processes on a product and I'm wrong, i.e. the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. That product was so beyond me. I didn't think it made any sense. I thought it was so unnecessary. Bought it, obsessed with it. That is, out of all the cream bronzers, that is the one that I use the most. And I have already hit pan on it. So, <laughs> y'all know I have no problems eating my words. This looks, wow. I'm impressed. Okay, let's set the rest of the face, shall we? I'm just going to go down the center. And my nose. Well, actually, hold on. I am going to put on... Yeah, snatched, right? I am gonna put on a little cream bronze moment. So this is what I always do. I put on my foundation first, then I go ahead and immediately set up under my eyes when I'm not talking. And then I will put the rest of my cream products on. The reason why I go ahead and set up under my eyes is because creasing, hello. Snatch, <laughs> I use translucent deep for the rest of my face. Yeah, you can do that too, absolutely. I love the combo. Yes, 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 yes. You could totally do that. So I'm going to go in with this, as you can see. <laughs> love. <laughs> love, love, love. Where is, oh, there's my sponge. So I'm just going to go in, use what you want, brush, sponge, doesn't matter. 
I just think this product is incredible. So I wasn't planning on doing a full look, but I mean, why not? We're already here. And I think it's just helpful too, so you can see the full thing come together. I'm going to be purchasing another one of these because out of, like I said, out of all the cream bronzers, this one is the one that I reach for the most, hands down. It's just so pretty. Have any of you tried this? In fact, in the comments, if you have been dabbling in any cream bronzers, doesn't matter, new or old, tell me in the comments what your favorite cream bronzer, or just bronzer in general, tell me your favorite bronzer of the moment because I know definitely, I go back and forth, I switch out. So tell me what your favorite bronzer is in of the moment. It follows you. Oh, does it? I didn't know that. Funny story. I actually had the pro, but I downsized to the mini just simply because since I wasn't in the salon, so I closed my salon studio last month. There wasn't really a, a huge need for such, you know, a big iPad anymore. But my husband, he has that one. I, actually, I bought it for him for Christmas. My fave method. My favorite at the moment is Elf one. Yep. The putty. That's a good one. I used that one the other day. Now I am going to go around my nose for just like a brawn tour moment. Here's the thing. Depending on your skin tone, you can get away with warmer, bronzer, bronzer, bronzier tones around your nose for sculpting. It's just going to depend on your skin tone. Obviously, if you're my shade or deeper, it's going to be fine. You know what I mean? But if you are lighter skin, that's when it does start to kind of look a little odd sometimes. But again, makeup is subjective. I'm not the Bible. I ain't the law. Do what you please. Okay, then if I want to further more blend a little bit or something looks a little wonky, just go over. And this is what I do for any cream products, whether I'm doing bronzer, contour, go over it with the foundation brush because that's just going to help you further more blend things out. It's going to give you a seamless, seamless blend. Let's see, ABH and NARS are my fave cream bronzers. Yes, the tones, they do have very beautiful tones. I tested out the ABH bronzer when it came out a while ago. I wasn't into the consistency of it for some reason. I thought about like going back and trying it again, but it, it has very, very nice tones on it. Okay, now I'm going to set this with the skin enhancer. So I make sure to get this part first because on my forehead, I don't want any of the golden part because baby girl's got a five head going on and you know, we don't, we don't need that to be any more intense than it already is. <laughs> then I'll go, I just press it like so. I sweat on my nose, so yep. Yeah. I understand. You gotta do what works best for you. And I just got way too much, but that's okay. That is okay. Then I'll go in with a little bit of this. All right, so those were our new face products so far with the foundation i'm not mad not mad one bit i'm gonna go ahead and set the other areas of my face with the blurring powder so what i like to do to set i will just go ahead and go right under where i lay down bronzer contour of the case maybe because that's just going to help clean it up 
If you want, you can take your puff and just kind of lay it there. Oh, why does this powder have to be so messy? Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I got too much again. <laughs> I'm just messy. I think it's just me. <laughs> Set up here, my brows. The look is coming together, fam. Okay. I am a fan. It's blending out my forehead a little bit. Got a little happy. Wow. Mm-hmm. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. All right, so far, I am liking both. So let me, whew, now I got a mess here. We got a mess. That needs to go in the trash can. That one can go too. Uh, hold tight, guys. I'm like an organization freak, so I have to like... <laughs> clean up as I go because I cannot handle just having a bunch of mess sitting out. Got that, got that, got that. Oh, let me bring back this so I remember to add it. All right, now let me fill in my brows real quick so that way I don't look like an alien. So something that I went back to and they're in my kit. They're all outside because I had, I worked over the week. I have been using the ABH Brow Pencils, not the Brow Wiz or the Brow Enhance or whatever it's called, the thicker one, the actual pencil that you sharpen, just simply because I needed something to be a little bit more bolder on my clients. And let me tell you, y'all, I have been loving it. But on myself, whenever, you know, I don't really... Personally, I'm not into the strong brow look on myself. That's just me. Again, if that's you, that's fine. That is fine. Do what you do. But I don't prefer to have a strong look on myself. Just more natural. But if I do want to go with a strong look, the ABH brow pencil, yeah. Because I use it on myself anytime I want to add a new product to my kit to use on clients. I always test it on myself first and I was like, whoa, it is very, very pigmented. So if you are someone who likes a little bit of a bolder brow, I know like the retractable thin pencils are kind of the move right now, but that brow pencil, OG, old school, can't go wrong with it. And there's gonna be a little bit of a awkward brow day because <laughs> this left one, the right one's fine, but this left one, this left one be doing what it want. Do y'all have that issue too where one brow you're like, okay, we good, we popping, and then the other brow is like, what in the world is going on? How, how did this happen? The fact that the sun is beaming, but yet it is raining at the same time. Like, I don't know if this is just like an old school Southern saying, but they say if it's raining, but the sun shining, that means the devil is beating his wife. How effed up is that? <laughs> Let's see. How do you use products like pencils on multiple people? Just wondering, I'm not a makeup artist. I only do my own. Oh, easy, just sharpen. So with the, it's easy to sanitize it. So with the sharpener, I have a alcohol, 70% alcohol, so I'll just spray it inside the sharpener. And then just take the pencil and you sharpen because when you sharpen, it gets rid of the old residue that I used previously in the other person. Easy, easy. Yep, my left brow is my best brow. Yep, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Okay, so quick eye look here because I have been loving this. I have both of these. So this one is mine. This is the original Major Dimension, and then I have Major Dimension Rose in my client kit because that has been my jam. But first, I'm gonna prime my eye. No, you're not slow. <laughs> you are not slow at all. You don't know what you don't know. <laughs> if you're not a makeup artist, why would you know that? Okay, so the P. Louise eye base. I know I'm late to the party. Man, this right here, love. And I have mine in the shade number six. 
I got my eyebrows microbladed. Oh, I can't wait to get mine. So I'm not in prep anymore. So I had to wait till after prep because cardio, you're not supposed to sweat. So I'm so hyped. I can't wait to get mine. Best investment. Yo, oh, yeah, definitely. I already have a girl. I'm gonna go to the girl that one of my friends went to because hers look amazing. So I'm going to just put this on my eye real quick. And shade six is close to my skin tone, which I like. Um, If you have any discoloration or anything in your eye, you're gonna love. And also if you're someone who likes to carve out underneath your brows, you can use this as well. Look is going to be very, very simple though, because we have a lipstick to test out. We're gonna test out this Rare Beauty lipstick. How do I open this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> and it is a beautiful, bold, well, it's actually the shade is called Bold. I wanted to make sure that I was getting something different because I definitely always pull more towards like the brown nudie tones and I have more than enough of those. I don't really buy lip products that often. However, if I am gonna buy a lip product, I need to make sure it's, you know, something different. Let's see. I have that eye base, but used it once or twice. Wasn't a fan. I'll have to try it again. Also, I have microbladed brows. I now do my own. Very cool. They look scary at first. I want, yeah. I have, I see, I have very oily eyelids. So I wonder if that's why I like it. And I say this all the time, like eye primer is not necessary for everyone. If you are someone who does not struggle with having oily eyelids, there is no sense in putting on an eye primer. I'm, I'm a sensible makeup artist. There's no point in using a product if you do not need it like that like why add in one more additional step why spend money on another product if your face doesn't call for it all right for the eyeballs like i said we keeping it super duper simple y'all see a flat brush so with the patrick ta dimension palettes again these shades are not anything innovative okay everyone has seen them however the formula the formula of it all he first of all Patrick Ta is just one of my favorite makeup artists period so when I saw he was launching his own beauty brand, I was like, yep, I am always going to be more prone to buy a beauty product from a makeup artist versus a celebrity, always. However, Rihanna and Selena Gomez, they did the damn thing with their products. Selena Gomez, I am just so impressed with her, her beauty line. Rare Beauty is dope. And I love all the products that I've tried from Rare Beauty, I love. And then also, I love the price point too. You know, like she's not out here trying to trick you for your Gucci. She's giving you a good quality product. And I feel like the pricing makes sense. It's not ridiculous. Because y'all know, inflation and just like how a lot of these brands are just <sighs> charging absurd amounts of money. Like I don't personally own any designer handbags. I definitely have my eye on one that I want and I plan on getting it for myself at the end of the year. But just, I was watching a video a while ago and they were just talking about how much a lot of these designers have went up. And I'm just kind of like, that is nuts, man, nuts. Let's see. Um, 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 um. But you so, uh, where am I? My lips are so oily. I don't know why this one wasn't working for me. That was Crease City. When you used it, did you set it after you used it or did you go right in with your eyeshadow? Oh, I miss half of the light. It's okay. I always save it. Hey, Tiffany. I can't wear a cream shadow without a primer. Yeah, see, when you have disrespectful lids, Ooh, child. I have disrespectful lids, 100%. My lids be doing what they want, when they want, how they want. 
So rude. So rude and so unnecessary. Now I'm just going in with this chocolatey brown. It's a beautiful shade. And if you were wondering if his shades are going to show up on women of color, deeper skin, yep, 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 and yep. Sorry, I'm all the way up here. It's so different because I'm used to being up because my camera's up here, but with the iPad, probably should have pulled it up. Let's see. I usually always set. Yes, my list. Okay, so with the P. Louise base, I did a little research. You're not supposed to set. So I wonder if maybe that could potentially be why you're creasing. I don't know, but just go right in don't set it with anything just go right in with the shadows and see if maybe that helps out you cap how is the laura powder i seen one review it was so good so far so good this is just a first impression so you know things can change um i like it <laughs> so far like i felt feel like my under eyes look nice and smooth i set my under eyes with it and my entire face i feel like everything looks pretty good but like I said this is just a first impression you know things might change I always come back and update y'all and that's why I have really I mean that's honestly one of the main reasons why I love YouTube shorts is because I can give y'all updates you know like a quick little update if I'm testing out a product or something Rose is here hello you're welcome, Tiffany. And you are welcome, DIY queen. Do you have a YouTube channel? I'm looking at your little icon and I see nails. Are you a nail tech? What you do, girl? Let me go check your channel out. That is one thing. I'm not good at doing nails is so hard. I have the utmost respect for nail techs. A lot of people assume because I have a cosmetology license or because I do makeup and hair that I can do nails. Uh -uh, that ain't my ministry. Nope, 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 nope. That is a totally different skill set. <laughs> Much respect. I do a little bit of everything. No channel. Ah, okay. I was about to say, I'm about to go watch, girl. I am very, very big on supporting others, especially smaller creators, because I know how it is. It's hard out here. I'm taking way too long with this. Okay, eyeshadow is on. Let me throw some liner on. I didn't use any of them. Well, here, I'll put a little razzle dazzle on. Just trying to keep it pretty low key because we got that bold, bold lip color. But don't worry because the look, I've got a look coming this week with the palette, and then I'll do another one. Boom, okay, got that on. I am going to line my eyes with that same brown. And I'm not going to put on a lash just simply because I'm not going anywhere. I'm about to go shower and do my whole self-care Sunday situation. <laughs> so give me, yeah, I'm put a little bit of this on. I played with uploading videos, but always take them down. Oh, you should just do it. Keep create. Keep the videos up. You have something people will want to see. I agree. I believe in that hundred percent. I am a firm believer that 
there is room for everybody everybody because you are unique and you bring something different to the table everyone has their tribe everyone has their own niche their own crew so don't feel like oh well my content's not good enough or it's oversaturated no it's not because no one is you you know what i mean like that's kind of that's always been my mindset like some people say oh well you know don't share all your information for instance i can tell somebody all day long how to do specific makeup or how to do you know specific hair coloring techniques but at the end of the day you don't have my hands so therefore i can give you my techniques and how i roll step by step by step but you don't have my hands so therefore it's not going to look like my work you know so girl post it keep going don't worry about it of course that is if you want to do you know but also have fun like that's my main reasoning behind this like i love it i love content creation i love makeup most importantly i love interacting with y'all i don't think you guys realize how much joy you bring me and it can be very very difficult like i have my moments you know because at the end of the day yeah you can, i do want to grow my channel and i you know i want it to i want to be able to make money off of it and what comes with that, you have to look at the analytics, you know, you have to look at your numbers, but it can be very dicey because sometimes if you get so hung up and looking at the numbers, it can make you upset. I mean, I definitely have had my moments like at the beginning of the year, I talked about it, I made a video that I almost quit. But then I asked myself, okay, if I quit, how would I feel, you know, and I would be upset because it's fun. Like, it's it's a hobby. I love it. So therefore, yeah, I'm not, you know, 10K, 50K subscribers. And, you know, I have this sounding board in my head saying, hey, you've almost been doing this for eight years and you're not even at 20K. Like, what's good? What's wrong with you? But at the end of the day, this is just my journey. This is just how things are going for me. You know, it's always easier to look on the other side. You know, you see people that come in and start, you know, five years after you and they're taking off. And it's kind of like, hey, you know, that's honestly none of my business. I just need to focus on me and keep it pushing. Sorry, I don't know how we got there. I didn't even start preaching, but whatever it is that you are doing, it might not even be YouTube, it might just be a career switch, whatever the case may be. If there's something that you want to do and it brings you joy, keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. I was watching a sermon the other night, Pastor Stephen, Elevation Church, and he said, let me make sure I say this properly. He said that your purpose will help you with your passion. Follow your purpose and your passion will come. You know, those two things, they go hand in hand. I didn't say it as eloquently as he did, but long story short, girl, that's what he said. And that's what I'm doing, you know. Sometimes I think if you try to really, really focus with leading with your passion, it can get kind of murky and you'll start tapping into your feelings. But I just have to remind myself, hey, just as long, like I've known my purpose for a long time, long, long time. So just, just as long as I'm operating in my purpose, the passion, everything else is going to come and it's going to flow. You know what I mean? So know your purpose. And then once you know your purpose, your passion, everything, you're going to be in alignment. So again, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start preaching on you this Sunday, but that was a word. I guess maybe someone needed it. I probably need it for myself. What's your zodiac sign? Libra gang. My birthday is October 18th. And this L'Oreal Infallible Pencil, I like this a lot, especially for the top, if I'm going to be smudging, but on this lower, set it, because it's going to play you. It's going to slip and slide. But on top, we Gucci. All is well. All is well, fam. All right, all right. I've been on for 49 minutes. Need to hurry up because I know it's Sunday and y'all got things to do. We're going to be chilling. This rare beauty. So this, all right, it's retractable. Um, Something told me that was your sign. Really? <laughs> That's interesting. I was about to put this on my water line. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Okay, so lip liner goes on 
very easy. For my skin tone specifically, a darker one would be better, but that's okay. We're fine. It's very smooth. And I like that it's smooth because some lip liners, when you put them on and it starts like tugging at the lips, that drives me crazy. I'm really impressed with how this foundation looks on my skin. Hmm. Okay. And the lipstick. I hope this lipstick packs a punch. Oh, pretty, yes. Mm-hmm. I like that it's in the red tone family, but it's not too blue based. Blue based red lipsticks are gonna be more universal, classic, think um Fenty uncensored, like that, but this Coke match, color match typo. I was like, Coke? I'm not drinking Coke, Coke. Yeah, I think the color match, I was a little nervous at first. However, not bad. And this is very comfortable on the lips. I'm real funny when it comes to lip products because if it's going to dry my lips out, make my lips feel uncomfortable, I don't want it. I don't want any part of it. However, this is very comfortable. Of course, if you're working with more so of a liquid lipstick product, then yeah, you're gonna get longevity, but you gotta pick and choose, okay? So the thing with liquid lipsticks, in order, let's say like, you know, they're gonna stay on, right? They're drying, they're staying on, but as the night goes on, or the day goes on, you start to get like that crustiness, that butthole lip, that ain't the move. With liquid lipsticks, is not something that you can just take out and put it on. No, ma'am, you need to be in front of a mirror. And then the other thing too, in order to reapply lips, liquid lipsticks, it's best that you take it all off because if you try to layer, girl, you're gonna be crusty and dusty. It is not going to be the move. Like, trust me when I tell you, okay? So for that, it's frustrating because you gotta take it all off and then you have to really be strategic with the pine. But, 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 you don't get any transfer. However, traditional bullet style lipsticks or lip gloss, yes, you're gonna get transfer at first, gonna come off, but it's easy to put on the lips and it's not drying. So basically, pick your poison. What are you willing to do? What are you willing to put up with? That's the moral of the story with liquid lipsticks versus regular lipstick. So this is our finished look. If I had a lash on with this, y'all, this would be a vibe. I love it. So, okay, let's talk about it. We'll, we'll wrap it up. I'm gonna hold y'all. Holding y'all in my hand. Okay, so as far as the foundation, I'm in the shade 455W. I was a little hesitant at first because when I put it on, it looked like it was a little too neutral. But now that we have everything on, turn the lighting down. I am not mad at it one bit so if you're a shade twin you can go for this shade and then there is 455 no this is 455 450 i swatched 450 but that one it was still a warm golden undertone but i just felt it was like it pulled a little little too warm for my skin tone so knowing your undertone is key with foundation matching um i know that's a struggle for a lot of people and i've been thinking and racking my brain recently on how i could come up with something just to help people with their matching, their foundation shades. I'm still working on it. Anywho, um, this is beautiful. The Laura Mercier Blurring Powder. I can tell the difference already immediately from the original one. I've been using the original one for years now, and I'm sure everybody has. I noticed just up under the eyes, because sometimes with the Laura Mercier, the original one, baby, you got to be careful, because if you put too much under there, you will be looking like cake batter. The under eye area will look like cake batter, but I did put quite a bit because I need to see 
However, I feel it looks very beautiful. It definitely gave me a blurred look and I set my entire face with it. So of course, we're still gonna continue to play with it. I'll do my final thoughts, a review on it and we will test it out. Hey Sarah, we'll test it out side by side with the original one. And we'll go through all the Laura Mercier powders, what she has to offer, what ones I prefer, and what I think would be best for you guys. And then what else, what else, what else? Oh, Patrick Ta, Major Dimension, bomb, absolutely love it. Rare Beauty, I like the shade. I wish it was just a little bit more opaque, but other than that, not mad at it. Um, is this something that you need to go run out and buy? No, because I feel like everyone has a red lipstick of some sort in their collection. This one, it's good. It's not like, oh my gosh, the best formula in the world or oh, the best color in the world, but it's good. The lip liner, this lip liner shade for me, it's not, it's not deep enough. I would need something deeper, but if you're lighter than me, it would work for you. I do like the formula of the lip liner because it's very, very smooth and it's easy to go onto the lips and it doesn't tug or budge. So those are the final thoughts and bam. Let me know what you guys think about the look and keep your eyes open because I will definitely, definitely be coming up with those reviews. And then like I said earlier, if you missed it, I'm dedicating the month of August to you guys. So the month of August is going to be subscriber requests. So any products you want me to try, any looks you want me to do, if there's a specific like an old product or tutorial, how to, any of that, I want you to let me know what you want to see. You can leave it down below in the comments. I also left this in the community tab. I, in the community tab, I said new products, but any content that you want to see or if you just want to DM me on Instagram, you can do that as well. All right, you guys. So that is our finished look. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. You know the deal. Keep it simple and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. And also, I always leave the lives up. So if you came in late and you missed and you want to watch the replay, the replay will be up as well. All right.